morning and welcome back to South Florida. My name is Shannon and I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you for joining me for another edition of Gentle Yoga. So just remember to do what you can, listen to your body and let it be your guide throughout the practice. We're gonna get started today just centering ourselves front to back, left to right, spread your toes. Take a deep breath in, maybe sigh it out. <sighs> Allow yourself to settle from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. And take this time to check in with the current state of your body-mind. Notice your thoughts and if they're calm and still like a lake, or if they're all racing and stirred up like a tornado. Notice if you're present with this body and this moment, this breath, this wave of emotion rolling in or if you're lost in thoughts of past or future. Notice any clenching and tightness in the buttocks, shoulders, jaw, forehead, feet. And also notice if you've got some kind of lean, like you're leaning forward towards the tips of your toes, or you're leaned back into your heels. I'm exaggerating. Or maybe you're leaned off to the right or left like the Leaning Tower of Pisa, but just sort of notice if you've got a lean going on and you're not centered. Maybe one more slow, deep breath, softening knees and thighs, softening shoulders and chest, softening belly and back. Start to spread all 10 fingers, turn your palms up. Exhale, rotate at the wrist, palms behind you. So we're flexing at the wrist a little bit, circling forward and then down and back. Two more little circles, inhale, palms up. Exhale, start to turn down and back at the wrist. One more time, breathe in and out. We're going to turn the palms up, deep breath in, take a nice sun breath out and up. Exhale, home to your heart. Two more sun breaths. Inhale, you can look up if it's nice, maybe even lean back a little bit. Exhale, home. If you feel strain in your neck and low back when you look up or lean back, don't. And or try and diagnose. Is it the look up? Is it the lean back? Is it both together? Choose. We're going to roll to the right foot and find tree. Maybe you're comfortable resting the left foot on the ball of the foot, inner thigh. Maybe you're even comfortable in a half lotus or with a bind around the back. If that's way too much, use the tip of your big toe or the ball of your left foot and all five toes. Inhale, lift heels to head. Exhale, soften down. One more deep breath. Eyes on your still point. You can let them close halfway or all the way if your balance is comfortable and safe. And on your exhalation, release. We're going to spread all five toes on the right foot. Gently plant it, centering ourselves and lengthening from that left foot up as you bring the right foot into your tree. So choose above or below the ankle, inner thigh, calf. Just don't put it on the knee, right? So, I'm sorry, above or below the knee. Open up your branches if it's safe. Keep breathing and softening down. Eyes are open, half closed or all the way. Maybe even sway in the wind a little bit, testing your balance. Maybe not today. And then release out. Breathe out. <sighs> Notice if you were holding your breath, let it go. Move your left ankle, knee and hip. <sighs> Move the right ankle, knee and hip. Breathe. Now we're going to take the feet wide on your mat. If you're comfortable jumping out, that's fine. If you're not, you can step out or you can heel toe. So see what's good. You want the feet wider than hip width apart. So this would be hip width right about here. We want to make sure we're wider than hip width, much wider if we can, but not so wide that you feel uncomfortable, unsafe, or unstable. Toes out, heels in. We're going to bring the arms up shoulder high, deep breath in, and on your exhale, sit into goddess. Push through your feet. Inhale, arms straighten, legs straighten. Exhale, sit into goddess. We're going to try a few more. You could do this with a hand on a chair, like a dining room chair for support, and just use the, make the one arm move, right? You could also do this over the dining room chair with it underneath your bottom. You just want a straight back chair with no arms if possible. Or if you feel better just putting your fingertips on the wall for support, you can use a wall and breathe out. And in. We're going to try one more. Breathe out. And in. Beautiful. 
Now we're gonna rotate toes in, heels out, hands to the hips. Deep breath in as you lengthen from the ground up. Pull in and up from below your navel and fold. Keep that length, tailbone to crown as you come forward and down. Release your hands to the mat. If they don't reach, maybe use your block or your dining room chair, whatever you've got handy. You could also use the wall, a step stool, an ottoman. Two more deep breaths. Maybe a folded up blanket if you're close. <sighs> Begin to let your head turn slowly to one side and then the other as you breathe in and out. Surrender the weight of your head down, down, down. And then inhale, lengthen out, hips to head. And on your exhale, we're going to start heel toeing into our yogi squat if we can. So we don't want the feet too narrow. Keep them just a little bit wider than hip width. The heel's a little bit wider, or the heel's about hip width. See what feels right. Sink your hips down, lift your head up, and breathe. So maybe hands are to the heart as you're lengthening away from the pelvis and separating the knees, gently using the inner thighs to push back. I'm sorry, elbows on the inner thighs to push back. Or you could try resting your triceps, your upper arms between your shoulders and elbows onto the knees. Or some of us feel better with hands on the block, hands on the mat, block under the bottom, or a little ottoman under the bottom. So play with it and see what's going to work for your body. Try different variations. One more slow, deep breath. And when you're ready, we're going to find a forward fold. Hands to the mat, deep breath in. Start to straighten your feet out so it's not toes in or out, just parallel lines like railroad tracks or number 11. Push through your hands, lift your hips, drop your head. Use that block if you feel better. Maybe you get kind of part way up and then you pull the block out and bring it forward. Or maybe you've got two blocks or a block under the bottom and a chair in the front. Set up however you feel best. Two more breaths. Feet are a little wider than hip width here if you can. Sinking the chin in, dropping the head down. Letting your breath fall out. <sighs> When you're ready to come out, start to push into your hips, bend your knees, maybe make your block taller, maybe bring your feet in a little closer, maybe use your chair or thighs or wall, anything but those knees. Now when you get all the way up, we're going to find our way to the front of the mat, breathing out, getting a little water if you need it, keeping all the leg joints loose, knees, ankles, hips. <sighs> Excellent. So find that balance at the front of your mat. Bring your hands to heart center. Take a deep breath and let it go. We're going to hook thumbs over opposite hands. So left thumb over the right hand, right thumb over the left hand. Inhale over head. On your exhale, start to pull your upper arms back towards your ears. Draw the shoulders down your back. Inhale to prepare. On your exhale, start to draw in and up below your navel. So we're getting that lifting from below the belly button, a tucking under of the tailbone. Start to shift into your right foot. Bring the left leg back behind you to the tip of your big toe. Take a deep breath in and still lifting from below the navel. We're going to try hinging at the hips and coming into our warrior three. Find your still point, level your shoulders, level your hips, and breathe. Now, if you need to bend that right standing leg, you're welcome to do so. You can keep your hamstrings from overextending. If you feel better on a wall or a chair for support, you're welcome to go there. Breathe in and out. We're going to lengthen out through the left leg, toes or heel, whatever's working for you. If you get a foot cramp when you point, then flex instead. One more breath. And when you're ready, push the ground away through the right foot as you come up and out. Maybe push the wall away. Move the right ankle, knee, and hip. If you're not using a support, use that core strength, that below the navel engagement to help guide you up and out. <sighs> Take a little breath. We're going to find the other side, front to back, left to right. <sighs> Start to hook. Try and remember which thumb you had on top last time. If the left one was on top, try and switch so the right one's on top now. Lengthen up, breathe in, 
Breathe out, start to pull back. If you can't pull back by your ears, that's fine. If your hands are here, that's fine. Do what you can. We're gonna switch weight into the left leg, straight or a little micro bent if it needs to bend. Right leg's gonna extend back to the tip of the big toe. Maybe this is your warrior three today, and that's perfect. Maybe this is your warrior three, and that's good too. Do what you can and breathe, and if you need support, use support. If you need to touch down and come out, and then come back in, that's okay too. Soften, feel your fingers, feel your thumbs, feel your shoulders, feel your face, your jaw, the left toes and arch and foot. Feel that right ankle and thigh and hip. Feel your waist and belly and back. Feel your body breathe in and out. And when you're ready, control up if you can, maybe using that wall for your practice as you wish. Exhale, <sighs> move the left ankle, knee, and hip. Hmm. We're gonna do a little swinging twist, so take your feet a little wider than hip width again. Deep breath in, exhale, we're gonna say ha, and lift the back heel. So if I turn to the right, I'm gonna lift my left heel, let my arms come around the body. Inhale through the center, exhale, ha, 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 ha. Let your arms feel like they're flying out of the shoulder sockets, the way you kind of spin around when you were a kid. Empty out all the carbon dioxide from below your belly button, gently pushing it out, ha, ha. Making space for more oxygen-rich breath, ha. Ha! And start to slow it down and come into center. If you get dizzy or lightheaded, don't do so many. Don't go so long. Don't go so far. Maybe make it a smaller, slower motion with fewer repetitions. You can heel toe or hop back into center or step. Take a deep breath. Settle. We're going to find our way into a squat. So if you can, inhale to prepare, lengthening heels to head. Exhale, engage below the navel, lift the heels, and with your eyes on your drishti point, eyes softly focused on your still point, knees staying hip width apart so they're not too wide and they're not too narrow. We're just keeping it right in the center as we sit. Beautiful, you can do that. If that's a little bit much, you can try coming down with a block in between your thighs. Sometimes this helps us, we can press into that and keep it hip width without getting too wide or narrow. And another trick, if that's just not working for you, is to come into your forward fold, breathe out. <sighs> head down. And start to bend your knees, drop your hips, lift your head, and find your squat. So however you get there, use your block in front, or maybe shift it around to the side. Breathe. Hands can be at the heart, on the thighs, using a support like a wall or block. Maybe coming to your forehead. Maybe softly closing halfway or all the way. One more breath. And we're gonna see if we can control the knees down. Maybe releasing just the knees to the floor slowly. Again, if that's too much, use your wall, use your block, your hands. Bring your knees down. And we're gonna pause here if we can. Toes are still tucked under if that's safe. Breathe in and out as much as you can. Sit back. If this is too much, come forward. Breathe, and maybe inhale here, and as you exhale, start to push down and back. And when it becomes too much, inhale, lift up and out. And exhale, push down and back. We're gonna stay for two more breaths if possible, just doing what you can. Maybe the arches and hips and heels will start to open up a little bit, and you can pause a little bit longer, or get a little bit straighter. And when that's enough for today, come out, untuck your toes, jump down. And then lift your feet up and gently rock them side to side. Maybe even let your head look for your feet if it doesn't make you dizzy. So as your feet go left, the head goes left. As the feet goes right, the head goes right. And then find your way into child's pose. Forehead towards the floor. Hands back by the feet, palms up if you can. Take a deep breath in. Let your elbows drop. Let your forehead sink. Let your chest surrender into the floor. A few more slow, deep breaths.
deep breath into your shoulders and upper back. Good. So head gets heavy, shoulders get heavy, chest gets heavy into the thighs. Start to bring your hands around in front by your knees and shoulders. Take a deep breath in and on your exhale, push the ground away as you come up to seated. We're going to start to shift hips to one side, feet to the other. Extend your legs out and around. Gently bounce. And rock. And then take your feet a little bit wider and we're gonna do that Mercedes windshield wiper going out and in. Excellent. So now bend your knees, bringing the heels in towards the hips. Take a deep breath in as you lift up through the chest and head. And on your exhale, knees to the right, head to the left. And I'll come through center and exhale, twist the other way. Inhale up, exhale twist. Inhale up, exhale twist. Don't feel like your knees have to come down. If your body doesn't bend that way, that's okay. One more time to each side. Just go where you can. Breathe in, breathe out. Excellent. Come back into center. We're going to heel toe the feet around and start to open the knees wide into cobbler's pose. And you can stay here. Or if it's safe, maybe you can experiment with coming down onto your elbows. Or if you feel like you could almost get to the elbows but not quite, another choice might be to take one of those folded up blankets that I talk about a lot and put that under your um, upper arms, your lower arms. Breathe. And take another breath or two wherever you can. Again, if this is way too much, you could be up much higher. If you don't feel comfortable, leaned back. You could push the feet farther forward. You could come forward more instead of back more. So just play with it and see what's working for your hips and pelvis today. Breathe in, breathe out. That's the only thing you need to do. Just breathe. And be a human being, not a human doing. Whatever variation you're in, when you're ready to come out, find your way back into the center. Start to bring your knees together. Lengthen your legs out. Ooh, get a gentle stretch, hips to heels. Get a gentle length, hips to head. And then bounce one more time. We're going to bring the knees up and the feet in towards the hips. Take a deep breath in, maybe scooting forward a little bit. And then exhale, start to roll back, vertebra by vertebra. Control it if you can. Use that core strength if you need your thighs to help you. They're there, or your elbows. And once you're all the way down, stretch out, fingers to heels. Reach, reach, reach. Deep breath in. Exhale, relax. Toes open, elbows bend a little bit. Take two more breaths here. Feeling your body. Feeling your mat and the floor beneath you and releasing the weight of your body down into your mat and the floor. We're going to take cactus arms, taking a 90 degree bend at the elbows, palms up if it's safe. Bring your knees up, heels in. Take a deep breath in and on an exhalation, start to tuck your tailbone under and draw knees into the chest. If you need to hug your shins or thighs first, feel free to do so. And then find your cactus arms. Inhale to prepare, and on your exhale, we're gonna to start to roll, knees over to the right, head to the left, and pause here for five deep breaths. If you find this is too much, you could take your um, yoga block or your folded up blanket or a pillow and stack that under your thigh or calf or knee and just see where you feel most safe and supported and pause there and breathe. Some of us feel better with a block in between the thigh or a pillow in between the thigh and knee. And some people like one under and one in between. So just kind of play with it and see what works for you. Feel your body breathe in. Feel your body breathe out. Soften your face. Take one more breath. And begin to inhale through the center and exhale 
exhale over to the other side. If you find this a little too much pressure, you can't get up, feel free to use your hands to help you around. And also know that you don't have to stay for so long. If five breaths is too much, if you're feeling a little too much pull in that side waist, the space in between the bottom of your rib cage and the top of your hip, then come out and let your body guide you. Head can be up or off to the right. Maybe play with the head gently, inhaling, pointing your nose towards the ceiling, and exhaling, bringing the right ear down towards the floor. Don't force it to touch. You could experiment with range of movement, or you could just stay with your nose pointing up towards the ceiling, shoulders and hands relaxing down. Maybe supporting in between the thighs, knees, or calves, or underneath that left thigh, or knee, or calf. One more slow, deep breath if it's safe. <sighs> Let go. And start to find your way into center, gently pushing down through the left as you unwind to the right, or again, using your hands to help you and guide you. Stretch out your low back, hug your shins or thighs down, tuck your tailbone under as if you could lengthen it away from your head and stretch out your low back. Hmm. And when you're ready, start to release into your Shavasana. Maybe circle your ankles. Maybe rock your feet in and out and let them fall open. Maybe take another deep breath and a sigh. <sighs> Sighing is great for releasing stuck stress from your body. Mm, for me, particularly a heaviness in my heart. So sigh it out, let it go. Soften your shoulders, neck, face, forehead, chest, upper back, belly, lower back. Let your hips and pelvis gently and softly sink into the mat and floor. And from the waist, relax all the way down your thighs and knees and calves and arches and feet and right to the tips of your toes. Take a deep breath into the chest and heart center and relax out from the shoulders, biceps, triceps, elbows, forearms, wrists, palms, and right into your fingertips, letting everything go. Feel your body breathe in. Feel your body breathe out. No gratitude for being alive in this moment, for this breath, this body, with the myriad of gifts and weaknesses that we have been given. Be grateful for those things that you label as a weakness. For sometimes this is where we find our greatest strength. grateful and at peace with what is, not trying to force or change anything, just breathing and accepting, feeling and letting go. Allowing sensation to flow through you like water.
attention to the present moment. Feel your body breathe in. Feel your body breathe out. Allow each breath to gently become a little bit deeper than the one that preceded it. Breathe ever so slightly, almost imperceptibly, begin to wiggle the tips of your fingers and toes. Just the tiniest bit at first. And a little bit more as your breaths become a little bit deeper, maybe even gently flexing the feet, perhaps starting to point the feet. Maybe turning your palms down and your head side to side, slowly and softly. Maybe begin to stretch your arms overhead and bring your feet closer together as you breathe in and reach the body long. And as you breathe out, draw the right leg up and in and softly squeeze. <sighs> squeeze out the breath. Inhale your right arm overhead, lengthen the right leg back out as you reach the left arm overhead. Exhale, squeeze the left leg in, <sighs> squeeze out the breath. And this time, inhale your right arm overhead, bend the right knee and roll onto your right side on an exhale. <sighs> Pause here. Feeling your lungs inflate with breath. Feeling all the carbon dioxide empty out. And again, knowing gratitude for this breath, this moment, this body. It may have aches and pains. Maybe you're lucky enough that it doesn't. But either way, most of the time, it carries us where we want to go. No gratitude for feet that may walk, hands that can touch and feel, eyes that can see, ears that can hear. No gratitude for all these simple gifts. If we're blessed enough to have running water, hot water, a soft bed, a temperature controlled environment that we can make warmer or colder as we wish fluffy pillows to curl up with, and a warm blanket. Finding your way up when you're ready. Coming home to your heart. And pausing once more. Just to feel this body, this breath, this miracle that we call life. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Peace, peace, peace. Peace to you, peace to your loved one, and peace to our beautiful earth. Begin to spread your fingertips apart as you take a deep breath out and up with gratitude and grace, receiving all that there is. And as you come home, ask for clarity in your mind, clarity in your speech, and clarity in your heart. The light within me bows before the light within each one of you. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope to see you again soon.